Hi, my name's Amy and here are some videos of my practice. Um, my work is all about skin and skin cells and cell structures. Um, I aim for my work to become a juxtaposition, including both positive and negative aspects to one piece. Uh, this is achieved by including a seductiveness to my work. Um, my work's very intriguing and enticing to the viewer, using bold, bright, playful colours, um, funky shapes. And then a creepy undertone comes in as you keep on looking at the work. The different shapes might make your eyes go funny and become less appealing. Um, my work is also of skin cells, which I personally find extremely creepy. Um... And my work really focuses on femininity, gender roles and stereotypes and challenging this. Um, this is done through using materials that are seen as primarily feminine or they have been stereotypically feminine used objects such as the wool and the yarn. I've used thread, um, I've used buttons and glitter and in the past, I have used stockings and ties, which are all very stereotypical feminine objects. Um, the colour scheme within my work is super important. I include a lot of red, pink and purple tones. Um, this embodies the context of my work being primarily really feminine. Um, these are seen as stereotypical girly colours. Um, but the colour scheme also embodies the creepy side of my work, um, reflecting blood, cuts, bruises, um, both including the both positive and negative connotations, which is really important for me. And previously, I um, had looked at painting portraiture and distorted facial features. So this is a little bit different from what I am used to. Um, but I've always found skin super fascinating within art and it's always been a subject within my work, um, especially looking at wrinkles within the skin, um, how different facial expressions can change the way your face looks and cause different wrinkles, even giving people Chinese burns and taking photos of their arms to see how wrinkly that can get, what motion they're in. So I thought just really delving deep into that and looking at cell structures within the skin um, as it is something that I also personally find really creepy, tying in with my contrast of wanting to be seductive, enticing, visually pretty and nice colours and um, enticing in that way, and then holding this creepy undertone of something that I personally find super disturbing and really creepy. And finally, some artists that inspire me, Helen Chadwick, Rachel McLean, Sarah Lucas, all using a lot of contrast within their work, as well as challenging female stereotypes, which is really prevalent within my practice.